Congratulations on the film. I, I think I learned a lot from your character. I didn't know that uh, there were centers like that to help people with addictions and other things. Could you tell us a little about uh, what your character does in the film? Yes, uh, well, yeah, uh, you know, I was back in the uh, 70s and 80s when if a deaf person happened, had an addiction, he had to go to a hearing program and they would use an interpreter to help that one person get to the program. Now, nowadays, here in LA, they have deaf-owned and deaf-run deaf houses. Right here in LA, there's a place called Awaken, and that's run by deaf people. So in all these years, there's, there's been a great improvement, because the thing about this movie, you see that deaf people aren't the sweet little angels that you might think they are. They have addictions, they have foibles, they have problems. So that's what's cool about watching this particular movie. Yeah, I love I love how Ruben deals from going from the world of sound to the world of silence, and I think your character helped him a lot. Can you talk a little about that? Because it yeah. might be shocking. If it happens to me, I will be shocked. You know? Oh, it, it changes another. everything. It changes everything. If you lose your hearing, everything about you changes. So, uh, and to have a guy like my character uh, Joe, who uh, is late deafened. In other words, there's a many, many, many people that lose their hearing later on in life. And like uh, the ship that I was on, I was on an aircraft carrier. All those guys that worked on the flight deck with all those jet planes are deaf now because they didn't have the proper uh, protection for their ears in those days. So there's a lot of people out there uh, who are lose their hearing later in life. My own wife is is almost deaf. So it's, it's weird and she, her hearing just gave way. Do you think uh, your relationship with Ruben was uh, that of tough love? Oh yeah, must have had to be. Yeah, a little bit of tough love, and uh, also knowing that his experience is the same experience that I had, but I went through it without the operation. He's such an addict; he can't help himself. And uh, how much do you think this film is going to help? us to change the image that we have of deaf people, like in a way it's romanticized, no, a little. Yeah, Not yeah, I think uh, it'll show people that they're just like hearing people. Uh, they have the same problems uh, and they just want to be dealt with that same way. They're tired of uh, hearing people acting like deaf people on the screen. They want to see real deaf actors on the screen. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, uh, how was your experience with uh, Darius? Is his first uh, fiction? I mean, his first long. Yeah, very natural, very wonderful, very supportive. He's he's really a very beautiful, sensitive man, who was open and willing to learn. Uh, he was willing to be flexible enough. If if something was wrong with the portrayal of deaf people, he would listen right away. Uh, he was he was wonderful.